<laughs> Trevally. Out of pure aggression. Oh, that's a good jack. It's amazing what a fish does for your confidence. Come on, untangle yourself. All right, so just a morning session this morning. Bit of skip casting, just to um, pass a Sunday morning. Hopefully pick up a jack. Use a squidgy prawn. I might change the, the color, but I'm, I think I'm gonna stick with the squidgy prawn for most of the morning, if not all the morning. And we'll see how we go. Just hit these um, mangrove roots and isolated snags. Uh, the current's really pushing in at the moment. When you're fishing these sorts of areas, uh, you've really got to get in tight to the structure and you, you really need to use a, a weedless rig. There's an EWG hook with a uh, squidgy prawn, paddle tail prawn. I, um, I use the sinker in the, in the loop knot, but it's really important. Um, otherwise you'll be in there retrieving your uh, soft plastic every second cast. So I want to hit as many snags as possible so uh, that I can increase my odds of catching a fish. The only way I can really do that is by using a, a weedless rig. And I actually um, use a little bit bigger hook. So these squidgy prawns, uh, the BKK hooks that I use normally um, a 4 -0, but I go a 5 -0 and I make a couple of extra bends in the hook. What that does, it deepens the gape and shortens the hook, which means I can get away with, you know, a size bigger in the soft plastic. Um, you can use other hooks. I, I like the BKKs, or this style of BKK. Um, I can't remember the um the actual model number but it's a it's a it's a very thin hook so um it doesn't carry too much extra weight and it doesn't interfere with the uh with the action of the lure which is what i want <laughs> Trevally. Well, that's a start. These guys move through the um, estuaries when they're young like this before moving offshore and harassing all the, the bait fish. Fattening up, ready to become monsters on um, offshore islands, reefs, rocky headlands, uh, wrecks, anywhere they can terrorise bigger bait, I guess. Very, very quiet this morning. It's gonna be a bit of a grind, I think. This is where you uh, just about fall to sleep casting and all of a sudden you get whack out of nowhere. Oh, that's a good jack. That's a good jack. Hit that hard. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're just about asleep. <laughs> He's a really nice fish. He's over 40. Oh, there we go. I'll keep him in the net until I can put the wet towel down. There we go, the power of perseverance. Been a really slow morning, but um, finally nailed one. Right, we'll put him on the lie detector. Solid 45, we're gonna get him to 46. Anything up that mid 40s is a really solid fish. Puts up a fantastic fight. Look at the chompers on that. Would you like to be a bait fish? All right, this guy's all fired up. We'll get him back in the water. We'll see if we can get another one. 
gone. You can see sometimes I'm going pretty quick and I might only put one or two casts into a bit of structure. Now, when I'm doing this form of fishing, I'm hunting them down. So I'm actively looking for fish that are in the mood to either eat or that they're aggressive enough, territorial enough that they'll, they'll hit the soft plastic just out of pure aggression. Oh, something come out there had a gun. Oh, it's a pikey brim. <laughs> He's still following it. cottoned on. All right, I'm gonna make a bit of a change. I've been using the uh, squidgy prawn in the river prawn uh, color. I'm gonna change to the white lightning. Um, sometimes the white lightning, uh, just because it's so flashy, um, stands out and will draw fish in from quite some distance. So we'll give this a bit of a run for the next hour or so, um, and then we'll um, probably call it a day. Amazing what a fish does for your confidence. Oh, what have we got? Something that's buried. Oh, it's coming back. Trevally. <laughs> Come on, untangle yourself. What have you done? I don't go in deeper. Go through. No. Nearly. There we go. You just couldn't remember the way he went in there, that's all. All right, we'll get this guy up and get him back in the water. Get this hook out. I'm gonna use a new soft plastic. There we go. Look at dark ears. I don't see them that colour too often in here. You see the ones out at the reef and that sometimes in certain areas they, they get really, really dark. All right, there you go. Mm. Barracuda, go away. <laughs> Oh, he wrecked me plastic. Well, that is the end of the day. So I set out to try and get a nice jack on the uh, squidgy prawn. And I achieved that. A couple more would have been nice. It was a little bit tougher than I, I expected. Maybe I just fished the wrong area, had the wrong game plan. But um, anyway, that's it. I'll um, pack up and head home.